Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Alrighty, when we left off, <laughs> when we left off, we had just had a nice conversation with Atris, uh, who was up there. I wonder if the glitch is still happening. Where... No, the, the sound of my lightsaber is no longer here. Probably because I just loaded in for this session. Anyway, seems like some artifacting issues happen um, as the session goes on. So I'm trying to do something different now with uh, every episode. I'm just basically going back to home and restarting. <laughs> whenever I'm recording a new episode. So, like I said, when we left off, we had a nice little conversation with Atris after we had gotten shot down again for like the fifth time <laughs> in that ballpark um, while we were trying to head here to try and get our ship. And that was when we found the handmaidens here and Atris because they've been apparently trying to remake the Jedi Academy and Jedi Council and all of that on one of the polar ice caps of uh, Telos. I think I got the basic gist of that, yeah. So, there's that. Um, I can talk to these girls at any time, and I'm going to do that in a second. But right now I want to explore a little bit. I want to run around and get some stuff because I'm sure there's a lot of loot to be had it's just me or is the sound a little lower than it should be it might be just me it might not okay well I'm going to loot some things especially in this area ooh haha -ha. That's good. <laughs> 11 components. I'll always take as many components as I can get because it's hard for me to gather them any other way. It seems the sound is really low. Like, extremely low. I'm starting to... Th oh, an advanced combat system. Whoa. I'm sure I can't equip that, but I'm curious what it does. Attack modifier adds bonus feats to everything involving blaster, pistol, and rifle. Okay. Cool. Good thing to know. I, it's going to drive me crazy. I have to adjust the sound because it seems way too far off. So I'll be right back. Okay, that's a little better. I also turned my headset up, so here's hoping that's enough. Yeah, and I can actually hear some of the sounds the way they're supposed to play. Alright, not being overridden by the sound of my voice. Anything in here? Nope. Okay. Just running around looting stuff, because I can. Before I talk to any of the handmaidens, because... Probably a good idea to do some of this now. You know, just in case it turns up something good. Or gives me a level up. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Alright. Didn't think that they gave me levels for unlocking stuff. That's interesting. Well, I get an extra tribute point. Can't complain about that. Question is, where do I put it? Hmm. Do I aim for more points on skills? 
Or do I just aim for glass cannon status? It's an intriguing thought. And I'm not sure what to go with. Because I think charisma and persuade wise, I'm in the clear. And I don't need to worry about that, I don't think. So I guess I'll go for more points. Just to bulk up my character a little more. Because eventually I'll get a whole lot of strength. You know, altering, you know, equipment. So I guess I don't have to worry about that too badly. And then when I hit, you know, the upper limits of uh, computer use and security, I can then start devoting points to awareness or something. If I, you know, get enough additional points. Yeah, no, that's, that's probably a good idea. That's probably a good idea. I, I reiterate probably and put emphasis on it. But okay. Should be good. Ooh, I got force immunity to paralysis. Okay. That's not bad at all. And I get up to level 3 unarmed specialist as well. That's good. That's good, because I'm going to need it. Um, hmm. 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 Do I go for toughness? Or do I finish out two-weapon fighting? Hmm. I'm not sure. Because advanced Jedi defense... I'll deal with that later. Let's go for toughness. Because it'll help me. Uh, reducing damage is probably a good idea. And then on top of that, I get the extra vitality still. So, it's probably a good idea. Now, powers. Ooh, I get the Suresu lightsaber form. Nice. Now, what do I do? <laughs> what do I get? Uh, hmm. I have the battle meditation. Hmm. Hmm. Especially since I have an armor set that will allow me to use powers. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, it's probably best if I go and improved heal. For now. For now. It's a good idea. Probably. <laughs> a lot of my... A lot of my decisions are uh, probablys and maybes. That's what it seems to be so far. Turbo lift seal. Um, don't need to worry about that. This is a different path that I have not traveled yet. Advanced med pack. Okay. Mandalorian blaster. And more components. I can't complain about that. And crystal didn't expect that Mandalorian melee shield good open the door open another door you know for a supposed academy there's not a lot of not a lot of things going on there's T3 and I know this area is where 
my buddies are being kept, but I don't want to go there yet. Because now that I'm sure I've looted almost everything that's worthwhile, time to talk to one of the handmaidens. You are the exile, the one Atris warned us about. Mm-hmm. Uh, whoa. <laughs> that is dark, Sadie. Uh, and what did Atris say? She said, you betrayed the Jedi by going to war when it was forbidden to you. You turned on your masters, your teachings, and yourself. Hmm. <laughs> I went to war to protect others, not to fight. That is not all she says. Uh -huh. She says you know nothing of loyalty to any cause except your own animal instincts. And she told us why you fell to the dark side. My own animal instincts. Wow. She compared me to an animal. As a furry, I'm delighted. <laughs> I do not walk the path of the dark side. Atris says that you fell to the dark side in the Mandalorian Wars when you gave in to your lust for battle. Once you tasted war, you could not give it up. So why didn't I keep fighting in the Jedi Civil War? I mean, yeah, that's, that's a fair point. If that were the case, I would have fought in the Jedi Civil War. Atris says when the Dark Lord Revan returned to the Republic, you did not march with them because you had fallen so far, you could no longer feel the Force. That's not how the Force works. <laughs> That's not how it works. Like, at all. I did not march with Revan because it was my choice. So it was a matter of choice then. If Atris has erred in her evaluation of your motivations, it might be best to inform her. <laughs> I'd rather jab myself in the Bothan stunner. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Did Atris say anything else? I believe that is the extent of her expressed feelings toward you. There are variations at times, but all rise from the same foundation. Expressed feelings? Yes. It is difficult sometimes for others to truly speak their heart or listen to it. The words often prove difficult, or they do not come at all. Hmm. So, what do you think Atris's heart says? Without having seen you and Atris fight, I cannot say. Oh. Battle is a pure form of expression. It is heart and discipline, reduced to movement and motion. This is an Achani philosophy, uh, which is why they end up becoming, you know, known as mercenaries and battle-hardened soldiers. Uh, or at least they did in the old lore uh, because they saw battle as a purest form of expression. Uh, sparring, actual combat, whatever. They saw it as a pure form of expression. Uh, what do I say? Whoa. <laughs> this is dark sidey. Let's not say that. If I fought Atris, then that might make the truth come out? Perhaps. It may prove truer than conversing with words. In battle, the words are swept away, giving way to actions. Mercy, sacrifice, anger, fear. These are pure moments of expression. I can understand that, yeah. I'm not saying I entirely agree, but I can see where they're coming from. Yeah. I would like to ask you something. You may ask. Well, I would hope so. Uh, you look different than the other women here. I honor the face of my mother. It is not something spoken of in the company of others. Oh. 
I apologize. I meant no offense. There's no need to apologize. You were merely remarking on something that you saw. There is no wrong in that. Is it a sensitive subject? It is not a sensitive subject, but a subject that requires trust. There is no such trust between you and I, and such trust takes time. Fair enough. Then let me ask you something else. You may ask. Uh, why does Atris allow me to walk... <laughs> didn't finish reading that sentence <laughs> that's on me that's on me uh i think that covers everything i'll be going now before you go exile question for you if i may ask it mm -hmm. you have touched the force what does it feel like oh she's curious about it because she doesn't know it is a difficult thing to describe Please, I wish to know. Okay. Well, here is open to my interpretation um, because there are multiple options here. Uh, I'm not sure which one I like more, honestly. I think I, I prefer this one. It is like a current that passes through you and carries you with it to all the places it touches. I see. Thank you, Exile. I appreciate you sharing your knowledge with me. It was my pleasure. Also, now... Mm. Mm. Throat started to give out on me. I apologize. It occurs to me. It occurs to me. Maybe I could have had that conversation with Kreia and the party. And maybe we would have gotten a little bit of something in there. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Huh. It would have been nice. You know what? After I'm done with this episode, I will go back and get that bit. Because that seems like it would be interesting. So... That is not the way I should be going. Uh, the way I should be going was to talk to someone. Someone else. Why have you approached me? Okay, I just noticed that uh, the handmaiden that I talked to who's different than the others is absolutely a different voice actress. Interesting. I'm searching for my friends. You will find them in the main irrigation channel room, in the northern part of the plateau interior. The particle okay. layers there that once governed the flow of water to Telos can double as force cages. Ah. So they are prisoners. They were caged for their safety, until we could determine your intent. Exile. For their safety. Atris mm. cautioned us against your tactics, fearing that your allies would create a distraction. Your companions mm -hmm. gave us little trouble, however. The male could have presented some challenge if he had resisted, but he chose not to. Who? Atten? He has had some Ichani training. He masks it well, but when you are in danger, his mask dropped into a stance we know well. Where would he have gotten that training? I do not know. The Ichani forms are known to be taught to military special forces throughout the galaxy. If the source is a mystery to you, perhaps you should ask him. It would be wise to know those you travel with. Interesting. So, Atten really does know more than he lets on. Interesting. Yeben Hawk, where is it? Your ship is stored in the hangar. 
Atris has given you permission to leave this place, and permission to return if you remain in her service. Alrighty. <laughs> I'm looking for a fight. Just simply, I'm looking for a fight. I would welcome a chance to instruct you. Oh. I have been anxious to mm -hmm. teach you many principles of combat ever since you invaded this place. I'm sorry, invaded? Um, perhaps you were unaware of what happened outside, but I was just flying here to look for my ship and then I got shot down, like right on your roof. I don't know if you forgot that bit. I didn't intentionally invade anything. I'm not pulling a Putin over here. I'm just trying to find my ship, okay? Jesus. Well, that was topical. I've dated this episode now. Alright. I could use a good sparring match. Very well. Follow me, and we shall see if you have the endurance to learn the most basic of our The pitches. endurance? Why am I naked? Before we begin, are you familiar with the Chani traditions? Does it have anything to do with why you wanted me to disrobe? All duels between us shall be without armor of any kind. There okay. shall be no restrictions upon our movements or upon yours. Your feet are not to leave the training mat during the battle. If they do, you will lose. Fair. So, this is not a fight to the death. Restrain your instincts when we fight. And we shall do the same. That makes sense. Okay. I understand. Stay on the mat. No armor. No striking to kill. The fight will be with hands and feet only. Mm -hmm. No stimulants, mm -hmm. shields, mm -hmm. weapons, or other items. Also, okay. do not call upon any Jedi techniques during our contest. If you do, then the battle will be over. All In right. Turn, I will not use our higher forms. For this is only an opening battle between us. A test of each other's strengths. Fair enough. If you're ready, so am I. Then let us begin. Cool. And my weapons are pulled out of my hands, and... Now oh, it's time to go to Master Flurry. Ha <laughs> ha! Do a whole lot of those. <laughs> I am doing... A lot more damage than I thought I would. Except when I miss. That doesn't help me. Alright. There we go. You have succeeded. Thank you. If you wish, you may challenge us again. And we will progress to more advanced movements. Oh. Progress to more advanced movements. I wish to challenge you again. Very well. I shall honor your request. Thank you. Our next battle will be using the higher forms among the Ichani. Yeah. You choose hands and feet, or whatever melee weapon you wish. Oh. But use no other items or Jedi techniques. So I can use weapons now. Okay. Let's go then for let it. Let us begin. Oh, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not healed up. Really? Okay, well, then I'm definitely doing this. <laughs> definitely doing this. Oh, come on. All right. At least that one missed. Ha ha. You have succeeded. If you wish, you may challenge us again. And we will progress to more advanced movements. Well, yeah, but let me heal up and I'll be ready to fight again. Seek one of us out when you wish to fight, and we shall honor your request. Sounds good to me. And you're already here. Perfect. So let me do the healing up part. And also clear my throat. Give me a second. Sorry about that. Uh, despite the rain, the air has been rather dry, which is really weird. But that also explains the whole drought issue we've been hearing about over on this side of the country so another heal and i think that's all good and let's Have you move on again. Fight again of course wish to challenge you again very well i shall honor your request cool. our next battle shall be free of restriction on weapons and items 
Mm -hmm. And you may use whatever technique, Jedi or otherwise, you wish to attempt to defeat me. Really? In turn, I will spare none of our forms against you. None of them? Okay. Let us begin. Nope. I meant to do this. Or most of this. Battle meditation. There we go. And now we do combat. Wanted to see how battle meditation helps me in this particular bit. Looks like not really at all. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> that was a lot of hits I did. <laughs> you surprise me. Thank you. I you know much of melee combat, really. I wish to challenge you again. There is nothing more that we can teach you from such contests. Such battle would only be for battle's sake. If you can't defeat me alone, feel free to pair up. If that is what you wish, then we shall honor it. Cool. We shall see how you fight against a group of us. We shall take you in a pair, using everything at our disposal. Use whatever item, weapon, or Jedi technique you wish. We shall match it. I'm sorry, the last sentence activated some neurons in my brain. <laughs> Oh, boy. Mm. Fair enough. Let me get ready and I'll return. Seek one of us out. Okay. I just want to make sure I'm all healed up. And I am pretty close. Alright, let's go. To fight again. Yes, what let's go. It? Yep, if yep. Ba -da -ba -da. Wish, we'll throw all this again. I, I was hoping I didn't have to, but here we are. I am ready. Let's go. Then let us begin. Cool. And now there's two of you. Haha. -ha. Uh, battle meditation. And then combat begins. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I'm probably going to be able to take her out. There we go. And one more. Might do it. Nope. Two more. Accidentally. Preemptively paused when I meant to unpause. Atris was correct about you. You know much of war and battle. Perhaps too much. What do you mean too much? I could take all of you on without breaking a sweat. I probably would actually break a sweat, but I'm talking to me here, because um, that would be a lot of tactics. Um, so you admit defeat. I admit nothing. The Ichani stand together. To defeat one or two of us says nothing of how a true battle would go. Oh. Let me catch my breath and I'll be back. Because I'm sure I did take a lot of damage. I took a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay, and determination was good against many opponent, uh, many opponents, opponents. I don't know why the M made its way in there, but here we are. Okay. And I guess this one would allow me to use armor, right? This particular run? Right? Maybe. I'll definitely have to go to here to use med packs. <laughs> Do that old tried and true technique. That is not what I meant to put on. Where's my... There it is. That's what I meant to put on. Also still doesn't... Yeah, doesn't restrict. Cool. Cool. Alright, we're good. And we move you on. You are a strong opponent. I could take on all of you without breaking a sweat. One does not sweat in the polar regions of Telos. So all that will break will be your pride. Oh, really? 
care to back up those words. Then our last battle shall be the five of us against you. Use any item, any weapon, any technique you wish. You will need them. That's probably true. Why not all six of you? There is no need for the last of us to join in this fight. The last. The weakest among us will only serve to diminish our techniques. Wow, is that is so mean. Five, not six, and that number should be enough for this lesson. For this lesson, okay, all right. Wow. The chutzpah. Okay, all right. Come on then. Very well, we shall begin. That really? I'm I'm not allowed. I should be allowed. That's weird. All right, and time for combat. I'm seeing how stasis goes. That didn't do anything. Okay, wow. I'm getting hurt. I'm getting really hurt. I'm going to <laughs> do the whole shtick. Okay, where is... There we go. Mm, I don't know if I want to use just a normal med pack for this, but... See how much it gives me. Not a lot. It's fine. It's fine. Just normal combat. Oh boy. <laughs> Taking a lot of damage. Oh, Jabus. Oh, sweet. Sweet Jabus. Okay. Oh, come on. None of those hit. The more I knock down their hit points, and the more of them I take out of the fight, the better off I'll be. So I'll use that. Oh, will it? Okay, I need more. I need more. It's fine. This will this will be the tactic I use to finish out this fight. Okay. I think one more should do it <laughs> for taking out this one. There we go. And we do more combat here. And then I'll re-up combat meditation. They are whittling down my health. So when all five of them are going at me, that's when it's the worst. All right. Re-up the battle meditation like I meant to. I don't know why consistently every time I take one out has completely cleared my queue. I don't know why it does that. It's annoying, but it's not that big a deal, I guess. And then I can probably start on her after this. There we go. It, it, it keeps clearing the queue every time. And there's no reason for it. Alright. And done. No more matches, no more challenges. Yay. We have learned from you. If we meet on the field of battle, we shall be <laughs> 750 experience points. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pretty good. And I used up all my force points. Okay. Now let's go ahead and look for my companions, shall we? Which I know exactly where they are. Did you find what you came for? That depends. What was I supposed to find here? There was something from your past here, something unresolved. Yeah. I feel we did not come to this place by chance. You were led here. Yeah. This woman who resides here, she did something to you once, something that hangs upon you still. She was one of the council who cast me out of the Order, and wanted to punish me even further. <gasps> I 
I see it now. The act has left its marks. Be warned. Unresolved events from our past can create wounds in the present and the future. And more importantly, they can distract you, weaken you. Mm -hmm. It could prove fatal against the enemies we face. Fair enough. The woman here is a Jedi, Atris, one of the council. There is a Jedi here, perhaps, in that you are correct. Yet mm. there are no students, and this woman, this Atris, surrounds herself with those who cannot feel the Force. Curious. Aren't the Handmaiden students? No. Her servants are not Jedi. Their minds are walls, trained to resist tricks of the mind. This discipline blinds them to the Force as well even if they were force sensitive how do you know that were you reading their minds invade the mind of another it is not something done carelessly or when there is nothing to be gained atris plans to heal the galaxy then rebuild the order plans are fragile things and life often dashes expectations to the ground True. perhaps students will come to her in time but now she is surrounded by those who cannot feel the force. Very true. We may be able to gather students and allies on our journey. Let's go. Very well. Let us depart. <sighs> he was standing up when I came in and now he fell down again. What happened to Adam? He's only sleeping. It seems the journey here has fatigued him. Right. Like we didn't see the exposition dump that happened last episode. You can sleep on the ship. Let's go. I am sorry, General. I must have lost consciousness in the crash. There's nothing to apologize for. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine, General. Even power has been restored to my arm. What is this place? Where are we? A Jedi Academy, concealed on the northern pole of Telos. This must be where I had detected the energy readings before, and the drain to the restoration shields. This room, this place, it looks part of a huge polar irrigation system, possibly planet-wide, like the one on Coruscant. Probably. I had been told by the Republic that it was not in use. They probably didn't even know it was in use. Or, because it's Jedi here, maybe they decided it was for the best. To not let it be known. Wow, that is a dark sidey answer. Are you well enough to travel? I am, General. If you wish, I may travel with you or join you at the ship. Hmm. Meet me at the ship and prep it for launch. We're leaving as soon as we can. Very well, General. I will await your arrival. Alright. Atten and Kray are the two party members left. And they'll follow me. Gained influence with Baudur. Booyah. 27 credits. Good thing I didn't come in here for no reason. Cool. Now let's get my droid. Yeah, I don't need to talk to her. Well, if it isn't the one who stole the Ebonhawk. Not so smug now, are you, you little thief? Don't be a fool. Atris stole the ship and the droid, says you. So you've been <laughs> sitting here. Your behavior core. They didn't memory wipe you, did they? It wasn't your fault they took the ship, T3. Hold on. What information are you talking about? Why would she want what's in your memory core? You can fill me in later. But let me get you out of here first. Alright. Join us on the Ebon Hawk when we're ready to leave. And do we think of influence gained? Booyah. 
I love gaining influence with companions. Ooh, a Chani shield and an improved deflection emitter for when I eventually get a lightsaber. And no other things. We got a lab station here. We got a workbench over there. Might as well use them a little bit. I uh, don't need that many frag mines. Don't need that many plasma mi uh, plasma grenades. To say frag mines or grenades, because I meant to say grenades, but it's fine. Either way, um, whoa, ho, ho, ho. six hundred and eighty. If I broke this down. I mean, I'm pretty sure no one on my team can use it. More chemicals for me. Don't see why not. Uh, maybe don't need ten of those. Maybe five will do it. Yeah, five should do just fine. And now go to create a bull and up us back to twenty for all the ones I used in that fight. Um, hmm. Don't need that. Uh, can't use that. Stimulants. Don't really need that. So, yeah, we'll call that good. We'll just have a whole bunch of chemicals in our pocket. Alright, so breaking down items. Let's do that a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. The Mandalorian Blaster, I was going to give that to Atten, but that also requires me hitting the right buttons to do that. Uh, Binox Blaster, change it out with Mandalorian Blaster, and that is significantly better, right? Yeah, it is significantly better. All right. There you go. You got a good blaster on you now. Yes. A lot of good blasters on you. Okay, and use up that mining laser, sonic detonator. I really don't need that many of them. Maybe two. Maybe two. Flex, heavy armor. Well, if I'm going to be putting heavy armor on anybody, it's probably best if I'm doing the flex. <sighs> now everything else. That is the question. What do I do with that? Safety harness is kind of underpowered, but don't really want to break that down for no reason. Uh, dash plating. Probably not a bad idea to use on someone. Droid energy collector. Eh, break that down instead. Hmm. Yeah, that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. Now, what do we do? Because didn't I have upgrades attached to this? Did I have anything really good attached to this? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, I had the Grinium Grip. Okay, yeah, I did. I had decent stuff. Decent stuff. Nothing to write home about, but decent stuff. Just wanted to double check to see if I needed to do any more upgrading or not. Okay. Let's get into my ship. But first, more loot. More loot. Okay. And okay. There's that. And getting into the ship. Enter the Abel Hawk. And now we go off into space.
Oh? Mistress, the last of the handmaidens is not among us. She has left with the exile. Oh? She smuggled herself on my left. ship? But why? Her oath, her reasons are unknown to me. But I fear she may no longer be trusted. We will save her if we can, but we must let her discover the exile's nature for herself. Some evils must be confronted, and isolation from it would have been no defense. Oh, so now you decide that? Okay. Well, now that we're off that Dajaric board of a planet, I say we burn sky until we see lines. What's with T3? What are you talking about? You downloaded Atrus's archives? What is the machine saying? There's a hollow recording of the day I was exiled. We seem to have found it. Do you know why we have called you here? I came because I chose to, not because you summoned me. Oh, I, I hit the button. <laughs> that was whatever. Okay. As Revan summoned you, so have you come full circle to return to the Jedi. Why did you defy us? The Jedi are guardians of the peace, and have been for centuries. This call to war undermines all that we have worked for. Is Revan your master now? Or is it the horror you wrought at Malachor that has caused you to see the truth at last? The truth is the Mandalorians had to be stopped, or countless more would have died. You refuse to hear us. You have shut us out. And so have shut yourself to the galaxy. You are exiled, and you are a Jedi no longer. There is one last thing. Your lightsaber. Surrender it to us. Yeah, there you go. My lightsaber. In your stone. Bye. Much defiance in that one. You were correct, Kavar. When he was here, I felt it. It was as if he was not there. More like an echo. The war has touched the youngest of the Order. Many of them have lost themselves in battle against the Mandalorians. We have not lost a Jedi this day. You felt it. He has lost himself. He is no Jedi. He walked Revan's path, but he was not strong enough. I fear it is our teacher that may have led Revan to choose the path he did. We are not the ones who taught him. We take responsibility, Atris, not cast blame. The choice of one was the choice of us all. Revan's teacher intended no harm, and Revan had many teachers since. Yet they all stem from the same source. Her teachings violated the Jedi Code, and lead all who listen to the Dark Side, as they did the Exile. You are wrong. The Dark Side is not what I sensed in the Exile. Surely the rest of you felt it as well. That emptiness we felt. He has changed. Whatever that wound was, it was of the Dark Side. We should not have let him depart. He will simply join Revan again, or perhaps worse. What would you have done with him, Atris? Be mindful of your feelings. This is not Revan who stood before you. This one walks a different path. No, although that may come in time. We let him go because we must. Where he travels, he carries his destination with him. Malachor V should have been his grave. You saw it in his walk, and in the Force. It was as if he was already dead. No, not death. Many battles remain for that one, if what we have seen is true. But the future is a shifting thing, and he cuts like a blade through it. We should have told him the truth. A Jedi deserves to know. No good would have come from it, even if what you believe was true. There is still the matter of Revan, and such truths could leave us vulnerable on two fronts. Perhaps in many years, we will call him before us and explain what happened to him, and how he may be healed. Until then, he must accept his journey. But he may never discover the truth, and he will never know why we cast him out. And that is the future we must accept. 
Jedi sure like their secrets, don't they? And their exposition. Those last few moments after my trial, I had no idea. I know it could take a while, but keep analyzing her archives. Atrus has a list of all the missing Jedi? Sure, display it. Master Vrook on Dantooine. Zezkael on Narshada. Kavar on Andoran. And Vash on Korriban. And Atrus is on Telos. Those Jedi were all on the council that exiled me. A strange coincidence. It is no coincidence. There is some larger plan at work here, and we are working into it. This is too convenient to be a trap. Hmm. Huh. Be that as it may, we need their help against the Sith. Those and are Atrus's records you have stolen. What the hell are you doing on our ship? Yeah. I've come to join you. I can help you against this threat. Well, we don't want your help. Or any of your sisters. It is just me. And I am doing this because Atrus believes you will need help. Do you think we need help? I think the strength of the enemy is unknown. But it is greater than five can hope to defeat without aid. When you put it like that, then welcome aboard. Indeed. But of course, what does one more matter to our journey? I have had enough of this. I will be in my chambers. Yeah, me too. I'll be in my chambers. But since I don't have any, I guess I'll just go to the cockpit like I always do. If she's coming with us, she gets the cargo hold. Might remind her how fun it is to get locked up. Come on, General. The cargo hold is enough. I assure you, there is little I need. I will attend to myself. Look, forget Adam. Take the regular quarters. We have enough room. It is no matter. I am used to worse conditions, but thank you for your kindness. The handmaiden has joined. She has a Chani defense, which protects her against melee attacks, and is an excellent unarmed fighter. So I don't even need to give her a weapon. Cool. General, is there a reason you don't carry a lightsaber anymore? When my lightsaber is returned to me, I will bear it. That's not your lightsaber anymore. That belonged to someone who served Revan in the wars, not the person you are now. You could build another one, if you wanted to, but you know that. That's fair. Do you think I can't build one? I don't know, General, but whatever the reason, you should put it behind you. I know this. A lightsaber is part of who you are. Without it, you're not complete. Fair enough. Very well. To begin, there are some parts I'll need. I think I can help you out there. I happen to know the parts you need. Since when did you become an expert on lightsabers? I spent a lot of time around Jedi during the war. None of them would let me take their lightsaber apart, but I did learn about <laughs> their construction. We I'm sure. We need a power cell, emitter matrix, lens and focusing crystal. Though I have to admit the crystal is beyond my means. Never did understand them. Those parts are fairly common. Though a Jedi once told me that it's best if your lightsaber reflects you. And if it is constructed of things that identify it as your own. Just bring the parts to me before you get started building it. I'll make sure they're usable. All cool. I'm saying is that you've gone for a long time without a memory wipe. Most droids behave erratically under those circumstances. I know that, but I'm fixing everything else around here, so I may as well take a look at you, too. What was that? That's what I'm talking about. That is not normal. I mean, this part is true. Uh, maybe he's just worried about your skills. Well, I mean, that's a little mean. Baudor is pretty skilled. Uh, utility droids tend to have a habit towards developing personality quirks. I am not pushing you around. I just wanted to see if there was anything I could do to upgrade your functionality. <laughs> I 
That's that that last one you mean. That sounds like a good idea to me. Good. Now let's get started. And you wouldn't guess it from the outside, but it looks like you've been through a lot. I'm there. I'm all done with you. If anything comes loose, let me know and I'll put it back in place. Permanent plus two to constitution. Cool. Influence gained with the handmaiden and an item lost. When, when did I lose an item? When did that happen? Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm going to end the episode here for right now because we are way the hell over time. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only stray cat playing games and fighting all the handmaidens that are at the academy because, well... I could, uh, just gets me extra experience that way and, uh, getting my companions, getting back on the Ebon Hawk and getting out of here while well, along with a stowaway of the last of the handmaidens, which was mean of her sisters to say. Also, I realized I still hadn't done that bit with Kreia and the handmaiden yet. Uh, I will tack that on to next episode because... This episode is already way too long, so I'll get that done for next episode for you.